Understanding the phrase, fit for a king, a guide to English idioms. Hello everyone, welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore the fascinating world of English idioms, focusing on the phrase, fit for a king. This phrase is a colorful part of the English language and is used to describe something of very high quality or luxury. Let's dive in and understand what makes something truly fit for a king. The phrase, fit for a king, has a rich history. It dates back to times when monarchs, or kings, were the highest authority and lived lives of luxury and grandeur. Anything that was fit for a king had to be of the highest quality, suitable for someone of such high status. This historical context helps us understand why the phrase is used to describe something exceptionally good or luxurious. In modern English, fit for a king is used as a metaphor. It's often used to describe food, accommodation, or even experiences that are extremely opulent or of superior quality. For example, the banquet was fit for a king with an array of gourmet dishes. Their new house is absolutely gorgeous, fit for a king. Remember, this phrase is used to emphasize the exceptional quality of something, often in a somewhat exaggerated or humorous way. Let's look at some more examples to see how this phrase can be used in different contexts. 1. Describing food. The chef prepared a meal fit for a king, complete with truffles and fine wine. 2. Describing accommodation. The hotel room was fit for a king, with its luxurious bed and stunning views. 3. In literature and media, authors and scriptwriters often use this phrase to convey opulence and grandeur in their descriptions. While, fit for a king, is widely understood in English-speaking cultures, it's interesting to note that many languages have their own versions of this idiom. This reflects the universal human concept of associating quality with royalty. We hope this video has been helpful in understanding the phrase, fit for a king, and its usage in the English language. Remember, idioms like this add color and richness to our conversations, making language not just a tool for communication, but an art form. Happy learning, and see you in our next video.